Hi everybody, this is Eve Everett, and today I'm going to bring you uh, seven or so items from the 70s and 80s uh, that do very well on eBay, in my opinion. A uh, couple things that I want to mention first. Um, first of all, um, you know, I've noticed that people do these videos, but they don't really talk about how long it took them to sell an item. And I don't want to say everybody does that, but quite a few people do. And I think that that is important to know uh, for two reasons. Uh, first reason is if you're looking to flip something very fast, uh, probably most vintage items are not going to be for you. And if you think long tail is a couple months, uh, I think you'll be disappointed. Although, if your goal is to try to um, have a stream of income coming in on a you know regular basis, uh, you ha you do have to build your pipeline. And vintage uh, is a very stable uh, way to do this uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, like I said before, uh, one of the reasons is I think that the people buying uh, vintage these days, you know, they're a little more established. They're anywhere, uh, like for example, this is from the uh, late 70s, early 80s. So you're looking at a group of people probably uh, somewhere between their mid-30s uh, on up uh, that would buy something like this for the fun of it. Maybe they had a very similar one growing up, uh, but generally... Not always, but generally those people are, you know, they're settled in their lives and they are just, you know, looking at things for nostalgia's sake and, and buying it for that reason. Uh, so those people generally have stable incomes and they actually present much less of a uh, return issue. Uh, for example, my return rate for vintage items is under 2% a year on eBay, which, you know, I mean, knock on wood. Uh, if you think about that, that's pretty damn good for eBay because you know how it can be. All right, now, one caveat uh, before I uh, get into this some more. The items that you're seeing, this is my quote-unquote flagship account, and I, I laugh when I say that. Um, um, basically, here's my thing for now. Um, I'm going to show you these items. I'm going to tell you how long it took me to sell them, but these are more than 90 days old. So uh, that makes it difficult for most people to uh, figure out what ID this is under. Of course, now that I've said that, it's going to be like a huge challenge, but um, hey, that's the way it is. Uh, if you want any additional information from me, uh, you can uh, contact me at eve at eveeverett.com. Uh, I will do everything I can to accommodate your questions about uh, the items that I'm going to show you. Uh, but I think you'll find that, you know, I'm being straightforward with you. Uh, the other thing you can do is last week I did a video on what I call my experimental account. And that is basically for the sake of the process. So uh, I pick it, I list it, I sell it, and, you know, I take you guys along with me. So you can kind of verify uh, in that regard uh, that I know what I'm doing. So... Uh, check out the other video, and again, um, as I always say, subscribe and all that happy stuff. It, uh, it really helps me. All right, so let's get back to it. This is a Magic Kingdom Disney World sleeping bag from the uh, mid-70s, early 80s. And real quickly, when I'm looking to buy things to resell, I look at what I call emotion points. Uh, everybody has their ratatouille. I I'm sure... Most of you have seen that movie where uh, the uh, food critic uh, ends up tasting this ratatouille and it brings him back to his childhood and really resonates with him and all is well. It's a, one of those, uh, you know, animated movies. Same thing, uh, similar concept. When I'm looking at things that I'm thinking about reselling, um, I'm looking at not necessarily the condition firsthand. I'm looking at, well, how many motion points does it have? Well, let's see. This one, it's a sleeping bag from Disney World. It has important characters on it. Uh, it's a Magic Kingdom with Cinderella's castle behind it. Uh, for me, that's a keeper if the price is right. Uh, I picked this up at a yard sale for $1.50. Uh, I listed it on a Sunday. 
and I had sold it, uh, and I and honestly, I probably listed it too low. I sold it in seven days for $25, and it actually went to a hotel in Italy, uh, and I also, uh, I shipped that on my own. I don't use eBay's uh, program. I charged him 50 bucks to ship to Italy, and uh, he didn't mind, and uh, I sold that in seven days for $25, and off it went to literally a hotel in Italy. All right, hold on guys, technical difficulty here. My dog. <laughs> All right, sorry about that guys. All right, um, moving right along, who doesn't want a Smurfette latch hook? Uh, this is a completed latch hook, and I think it was probably supposed to attach to a pillow, but it never did. And it, it has Smurfette, and I don't know which Smurf that is, whatever one she carried on with. Such a tart, wasn't she? Um, and I believe, let me take a look at this. This is another one that sold pretty quickly. Uh, it looks like I sold this uh, last spring or so. It took about nine days to sell. And I only listed it for 15 bucks. I usually don't list things uh, under $20 these days uh, be simply because I, I've switched over to doing uh, free shipping. And I'll explain that one day. But this I sold, uh, let's see. Yeah, I sold this within a few weeks for 15 bucks plus $8 shipping and off it went. So I also picked that up at, for 50 cents at a yard sale. Uh, now we've all we all know about Barbie, okay? Barbie can make you quite a bit of money if you just happen to stumble upon the right one. Um, of course, Barbie collectors who, who collect Barbie are very picky, and you know finding a collectible vintage Barbie is not that easy, uh, although quite a few people do. But what you would be surprised to learn is that a lot of people overlook vintage Barbie clothes. And you can't have a naked Barbie, right? You got to dress her up. I, I mean, I, well, I don't want to disparage people who collect Barbie, but needless to say, um, they really got to have their vintage Barbie clothes. So uh, I, it, it was one of these days where I had some time to burn, like a half hour. I was near the uh, Way and Go Goodwill. So I stopped by and I, you know, there's nothing put out. Everything, I guess, would be considered stale by a, a lot of people. You know, they're waiting around, waiting for someone to uh, bring out new bins. But, you know, that sort of thing doesn't deter me because I, you know, I'm looking for things that other people leave behind. I mean, I know the low-lying fruit. I know all that. Uh, but I'm also looking for things that a lot of people don't really take time to really look at. And that's Barbie clothes. So, uh Two dresses here. One's a leopard print with a Barbie tag. Another one's just a uh, nondescript but cute party dress for Barbie. And um, I probably paid, I don't even know. I mean, if it's 99 cents a pound, how much possibly could that be, right? So, you know, I don't know, two pennies? Who knows? Uh, but I sold the, I listed these and I took a best offer of $25. Uh, I had them listed for 35 so I took a best offer and these went overseas to Denmark. Um, and I'm gonna show you something else uh, along the lines of uh, clothing too for Barbie. Have to do uh, this guys, but check out the, the highest Ken. first uh, price and a lot of people, at the uh, you know, Ken just ended just auctions, the closed the auctions, and, and you'll see the phenomenal know, prices you can get for cool, Barbie clothing. But in any event, uh, different day, I found these at the way and go and you can see the uh, let's see there's the Ken tag there it is and I picked up the tuxedo and I picked up a uh, Ken it's like a groovy shirt with uh, a vest and I lotted them up and I also let's see I sold these for $22 and shipped them to Pennsylvania in a first-class mailer uh, so, you know, I might have paid a quarter for that, and I sold that. Actually, this took a little longer to move. Poor Kenny gets no respect. Uh, I think I got this. Let me take a look. I got this uh, early summer, and it sold in. Uh, it sold about two and a half months later. So, not bad for Ken. Now, another thing you want to think about when it comes to Barbie items are, 
you know, Barbie uh, accessories like jewelry and uh, shoes. If you look at the finished auctions for vintage shoes for Barbie, you will, you'll pass out. Some of the prices that they're getting are nuts, uh, especially if they're marked uh, from Japan. Um, so check that out. And also uh, check out Barbie uh, jewelry, which is harder to find, but you can also, again, get a lot for that. Um, so moving on, uh, everybody knows the Peanut characters, Peanuts. Uh, this one is Snoopy and, oh gosh, what the heck is her name? Peppermint Patty? Yeah. And now I know the whole thing's ambiguous but with her, but let's not go there today. Uh, it's just a tea towel, people. And this is a linen tea towel that says, thank goodness for people, Snoopy's kissing her, and, um, you know, this is another thing that, you know, has a lot of emotion points for people that, you know, collect uh, Schultz items, and remember watching, you know, like the Great Pumpkin, and, you know, that pathetic looking Christmas tree, and the Snoopy, you know, the Peanuts specials on television, and... You know, it, it's just a lot of fun to, to watch that stuff. And, and then, you know, you see it on eBay. And, of course, you have to have it. And for this particular item, um, again, it was a tea towel. I picked it up in March. And I shipped it. Let's see. Posted it March 17th. Shipped it March 31st. Uh, took 15 bucks for it. Uh, plus shipping and out it went. So, again... You know, I might have paid 50 cents for that. And I think at the time there were other tea towels up there. So I just wanted to make sure it didn't, um, you know, collect dust around here. Because believe me, I, I have a lot of stock right now. And so the last thing I need is more. Okay. Um, another Peanuts item. This is a vi clearly vinyl. <laughs> uh, primary color. Snoopy handbag, and it's got Snoopy on the front, and it's, you know, green, yellow, red. And this is another item. Uh, it was a uh, Way and Go Quick Pick. And let me see. Yeah, this is another one that I, I actually paid um, like a buck for this. Um, I posted this actually on the same day that I posted the other uh, item you just saw. And that's what I like to do sometimes. Uh, sometimes I'll wait until I get several uh, items in the same uh, realm. Like, for example, I'll have, like, you know, a couple of Snoopy Peanuts items. And, I don't know, I just have this feeling that if I post them all as a cluster around the same time, people uh, looking for that particular genre uh, will have more for me to look at and be more likely to uh, combine items since they can see a whole bunch of different uh, Peanuts items or Barbie or whatever it may be. So anyway, uh, this bag, same place, uh, sold it for $15. I'd probably list it for more than that uh, nowadays because, like I told you uh, in the past, I'm really trying to uh, keep my items above, you know, 20, 25 bucks. And so I, I, I'm trying to not... Uh, list anything that I'm going to have to list lower than that. So, anyway. But, I mean, that's just a me thing. Uh, you know, feel free to do whatever you want. Uh, I might, I'll explain my rationale more. I think I explained in a previous video why I do that. So, I won't bore you with it now. But, anyway, $15. Uh, let's see. Actually sold by the end of March. And got the shipping for it. And off it went. Alright. And here we have a Ziggy Tote. And uh, this one is actually new with tag, although you can't see the tag in that picture. And, you know, I picked this. I'm not a big Ziggy fan. I don't know. I just never got into Ziggy. Same thing with that uh, cartoon Kathy. Remember that? I never really got into her either. I don't know. Uh, but Ziggy does sell. And I posted this for um, $40. And that went to Brooklyn, New York. And I sold that, let's see, posted that in, where did it go? Oh, I posted that in April. And by June, it was out the door, uh, 40 bucks. So, not bad. Held on to it for a little while, but 
Uh, it was new with tags, so I figured that I could probably get the price that I, you know, I really wanted for it. And what video would be complete without Captain Kerr? 